We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Raheem Mostert, Miami Dolphins running back, and he's playing on a different level right now. Honestly, some of the best play he's had in his entire career. Just looks like he's healthy. Everything about his game, he looks stronger than ever. His contact balance, play strength, bouncing off tackles, punishing players. He's making an impact in the receiving game as well. It's just very nice to see. Nice compliment back there with all their running backs. He's setting up his blocks. His footwork, like he's always had the burst and the speed. His footwork looks amazing. His balance, um, you'll see that on a few different plays. This one is blocked up super well. Just getting him out space on toss. I'll break down the blocking more in an Armstead video that I'm doing later. But Mostert just does a great job setting this up. Attacking this angle to the outside right here. Like he could instantly just shoot up. But he's allowing angle to get this block and he's just working off of it. Make that press up, cut, allow Armstead to flow this out. And he's just maximizing this yardage just by working off his blocks. Good footwork to you there. You can see the efficient feet when he makes that cut to transition upfield. And he's just obviously has the great burst and speed. And the playmaking ability was just all on display in this one. I really liked Raheem's work in the receiving game in this. A lot of just work down into the flat. Hands catching, showed off some good hands catching skills, and then his ability just after the catch on space, showing elusiveness, contact balance, play strength, making these guys miss. This is just everything right here. Like instantly catching it, anticipating that this defender's gonna be right there. He gets his head around, gets that stiff arm, picks his feet up right there, and a lot of guys like look where he's getting hit down low and how where his feet are positioned right here. Most guys are gonna fall over. He will just stay on his feet, keep it active, and then run into a guy with no momentum. He has legit no momentum, run into um number 42 right there or 47 and carry him for a few extra yards to nearly pick up that first down that's a linebacker very very impressive he's just been bullying some of these defenders and i love the fight it feels like he's playing with extra energy and competitive toughness this year than he was compared to last year at the start of the season because i feel like he was injured uh not fully 100 percent the last year at least at the start but now the decisiveness the burst he's hitting holes making plays, punishing defenders out in space. I'd love to see it from Mostert. Good vision here from Mostert to find the cutback lane and then also get back on his path. Just quick decisions. You can see the decisiveness, the processing just looks much, much cleaner this year, which I definitely like to see. Some toss action. They did this a lot, you know, with this toss, this they're setting this up like the angle that Eng <laughs> Elk Engle is taking. Usually, like early on with these toss, they were getting far to the outside. When this toss, it gets people to really overflow and commit to the outside. Look at all these players leverage, but they're really using this to find this cutback lane. So he instantly sets this up, makes the guy miss, nice transition um, to get lateral there. And now he's just seeing this, wants to get back on this path. Love when you can have that curvy linear movement where you can change up your angle and then get back on the path very smoothly, burst through the hole, and then carry some guys for multiple extra yards. He's been fighting, getting those yards. I really, really like what I've seen. You know, being a 31-year-old back, this is pretty rare from what Raheem is giving. Combine him with what, you know, Devon Achan was able to do in this past game. Savon Ahmed looked good in the first two games. Even Chris Brooks came in in some garbage time and looked pretty solid. And they get Jeff Wilson back. Definitely not worried about this running back room at all in this system because they all fit really nicely and have a great understanding. And they're all going to probably make an impact at some point in this year. Got some split zone action here with a jet motion from Shotgun. Just, you know, good read, get downhill, very quick, decisive, good footwork in the backfield. We'll see how he sets this up, just looking on this play, getting from the end zone views where you can really see everything happening back here up front. Split zone, he's sort of just reading this defender right here. He sees him get the leverage to the outside, so he anticipates, hits, sticks that foot in the ground, gets back on his path, works off the back of that block, stays skinny, doesn't want to overcommit to this guy. So this guy is able to, you know, come off of his block and make that tackle, just perfectly splits them, and then is able to, you know, carry, pick up nine yards, uh, taking a really nice angle there. His aiming points is be looks really good. He just feels like he's playing at a high level in the athletic department, the physical department, and his mental uh, processing side of the things as well. It's just all around coming together for Moster and like, I know he's in the past, like, you know, he had that playoff game where he ran for 200 yards, but I feel like at like a consistent level, this might be the best play he's having in his career. And at 31, that's really, really, really impressive. This was the angry run by Mostert, his touchdown, some more split zone action. He just hits up through the hole and guys just don't want to tackle him. When you have that amount of power combined with that speed, when you build up your momentum and you're able to, you know, we saw him earlier break some tackles when he had no momentum. Now he gets to hit this hole at full speed. It's blocked up very nicely. Good job by Wynn. Good job by Connor Williams, Robert Hunt, everyone getting a hat on a hat here. 
This guy's able to get off Armstead a little late, and he just drops his shoulder into him, bounce off him like it's nothing, and has the speed to then get to the edge. His footwork, um, his step frequency is super high, and like doesn't slow down at all. I love that. Like love when a player is able to brace contact like this, and then instantly able to accelerate, and his feet are just instantly getting to near top, uh, top speed quickness right there, and able to get to the edge. That's wow. What, what from what I'm seeing from Moser, man been super super impressive and got to give a ton of credit to this offensive line their run blocking has been really really nice over these past two weeks pass blocking also been solid they are getting the ball out very quickly so i still think you need to see more but you can see the impact that having armstead back really brings uh, even though lamb was playing really well but armstead is just an elite level player just wanted to show this touchdown i think i showed this in the devon hn video just setting this up nothing too crazy he just sees the big hole runs into it see that he you know would punish a db already into the end zone i mean this is just a great setup with the orbit motion behind look at all the defenders get moved here but with the two polars uh you know guard h action some counter up through orbit motion and moster gets an easy walk-in touchdown making life easier for your running backs this is some of the best play calling and most open running lanes that i think i've ever seen a dolphins team have another goal line touch one yard out this is a fourth and one situation like to see most are just getting downhill being decisive once he sees this this open up you see what they're doing they're pulling the guard h back through some uh gh power stuff going on here and most are just gets decisive and you can see the power like some guy hits him low he still has like high pad level here he gets hit low and high and he's still able to you know bounce off those guys and carry forward like he was already into the end zone so it didn't really matter but I just loved seeing, you know, some power down in the goal line because I know a lot of people were worried about not having a bigger power type of back for this team. And I think, you know, they, you know, they, the running backs, him and uh, Moster and Achan in this game put up eight touchdowns combined, and a few of them were down here in the the goal line area. So definitely made some plays where they had to run some people over or make someone miss in a tight space. And it's definitely something that the Dolphins need is to finish these end zone plays because they get down inside the red zone. They score in a lot of big plays from Hill and Waddle sometimes, and they can, you know, struggle to finish. Last year, that was sometimes a problem. Like, they were good for a while, but towards the end of the year, they struggled a little bit to finish these drives. Having a running back definitely helps out um, for certain drives that can finish down in the red zone. Last play that I'm break down, I did wrote this down in the Julian Hill video because he was out here lead blocking on the jet motion. And this is just probably Mostert's best play of the game, like, the balance there the ability to come to balance the footwork everything about it like you know the big parts of his game the speed the burst that sort of you know athletic traits are all over his film and always have been and he's playing very strong as a lot of people can see with what he's doing but this play on space you know catch the ball with his hands good hand technique he's been very reliable as a pass catcher down in the flat and things like that um, good job, you know, recognizing where the defenders are, having a good feel, knows that he has a blocker out here, and he wants to get to the edge, so he accelerates there to get around this defender, um, is going to pick up a first down, but is still able to, you know, situational field awareness, knows where he's at, and then great footwork, balance, he comes to balance right here, able to make a cut there with more blocking from Barrios, really heads up play there from Braxton to, you know, get a hand on him, make this guy overflow, and then after coming to balance, you know, only a few steps later, to then set this up make this guy miss great footwork look look at the feet there he gives him the left but then also the right almost like crossover type move uh great lateral agility shown in this one just everything from an athletic standpoint i love about that play and that's it just looks like he's more explosive than ev than ever like from everywhere else because he's always going to have that burst and speed you never doubted that but the lateral agility the change of direction the balance overall body control has really stood out from to me and you can tell he's been putting in a lot of work so a lot of respect to Raheem Mostert for what he's doing for this team definitely a fan can't wait to watch him for the rest of the season with you know all the other running backs that get to get some playing time too because you don't need to just you know run him into the dirt he doesn't need to be a workhorse for this team with the guys that they have so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace